Statistical measures, such as mean, median, and box plots, can be explored interactively in CodeApp by dragging one or more points around on a graph to temporarily change their value. This works on CodeApp graphs where at least one axis has a numerical attribute. This is a useful feature because it allows you to visually see how plotted values on a graph, such as the mean or median, or functions such as the least squares regression line, change as points on the graph are dragged into new positions. And this dragging feature allows you to test out these changes without permanently altering data values. To demonstrate, let's look at the CodeApp example document titled Domestic Cats, which provides data on 24 pet cats with several numeric and several categorical attributes, along with the cats' names. Here we have a graph showing just the weight of the cats on the horizontal axis. The highlighted point is for the cat named Oddfuzz, who is the heaviest in the data set at 18 pounds. Now I will drag the point for Oddfuzz to the right. As I do this, you see his weight value increasing in both the graph and on the table. However, as soon as I let go of the point, you will see Oddfuzz go back to his original spot at 18 on the graph, and the value for his weight in the table also go back to 18 pounds. Dragging points only changes values in the data set temporarily for as long as the points are held. If I add the mean and standard deviation to the graph, I can then see how these calculated values change as I drag points. So now I'm going to click to select the three lightest cats and drag them to the left to see how the mean and standard deviation change. So as I do this, you can clearly see the mean value, the blue line in the middle, moving to the left or decreasing and the standard deviation, the highlighted area in purple, becoming wider. Once again, when I release the points, everything will go back to their original starting places. Now let's try the same thing, but first select Show Measure Labels from the Ruler me menu so that we can see how the precise values of the mean and standard deviation change as we do this dragging. Okay, now I'm going to remove mean and standard deviation from the graph. And I'm going to add a categorical attribute, sex, to the vertical axis so that we can see what dragging looks like with a numeric by categorical distribution. And I'm also going to add box plots to the graph. So one interesting thing to do with box plots is to drag points to make them outliers or more extreme outliers and see how the box plots change as a result. So say I select the lightest male cat and then hold down shift and select one of the two lightest female cats. So now I'm going to test out dragging them to the left uh, to see when they become outliers. So I see that the whisker of the box plot is getting wider. Oh, and now at a weight of about five pounds for female cats, it becomes an outlier. Um, but it's still not an outlier for male cats, so I'm going to keep dragging. And okay, around uh, two pounds, it becomes an outlier uh, for male cats, which makes sense because uh, the distribution uh, for male cats uh, the original distribution of data points is wider uh, than that for female cats.
Now for the last demo, let's remove the box plots and also remove sex from the vertical axis. And now I'm going to add a numeric attribute instead uh, to the vertical axis, uh, specifically body length, so that we can see what dragging points looks like when we have two numerical attributes on a graph. I'm also going to add the least squares regression line. Now, if I drag a point farther away from the regression line, we will see the line move with the slope and intercept changing to reflect the new position and values of the point. Um, so the line is changing uh, to give the new best fit regression line. Uh, and you will also notice that the r squared value uh, is changing uh, as I move the point as well. So I'm moving the point farther away from the line. Uh, the r squared value is decreasing because the fit is no longer as good. Um, but you see that the line, um, the slope, and the intercept are changing as I move the point. So to summarize, when dragging points to temporarily change their values on a CODAP graph, everything computed from those values changes dynamically during the drag. Thanks for watching.